So hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode. It's the 15th of March today. It's uh, early evening, I think it's about 6 o'clock. And uh, the weather is still absolutely beautiful out here. It's, uh, it's around about 16, 17 degrees, I think, outside at the minute. But um, yeah, so it's getting on till the end of March now. So it's that time of year, my favorite time, where we get to sow pretty much all of our seeds. So I thought I'd make a start today with uh, sowing my peas. So um, what I did here was I soaked all my peas last night uh, for 24 hours in um, some cold water in a nice big bowl so they have plenty of room to expand. As you can see they've uh, expanded up lovely there. So um, yeah, let's make a start in uh, preparing this. I use um, some guttering for my peas. Um, thanks to Dan from A Lot of Diary for uh, introducing me to this method a couple of years ago. It seems to work brilliant. Pop them in the greenhouse for a couple of weeks until they get up to a couple inches tall, and then uh, we'll take them down the plot and um, slide them on in. So to uh, to make a start, I've just got some old compost here that I'll uh, start to layer in thinly in the bottom of these trays. So, some compost in the bottom now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add a um, little bit of blood fish and bone to the bottom. A small handful of uh, chicken manure pellet. And finally, we'll add a little bit of this absolute beautiful stuff. It smells wonderful. Uh, 6X. It's a 100% natural fertilizer. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. Can't recommend her enough. It's great to make uh, compost teas with or just uh, to give your plants a good boost. So we'll start with some blood fish and bone. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit, not too much, just a very light coating along the top of each tray. So with that done now, we'll add a little bit of chicken manure, very lightly. Great, so with that done now, we'll finally add our six X. And again, not too much of this, just a little bit. You don't need much at all.
awesome. Now with that done, all I'll do is I'll give it a little mix in and that will give us a good rich uh, compost which will help feed our plants uh, right into the summer. So I'm just going along here and I'm just um, turning the soil over gently with my fingers just to get it nice and mixed up, ready to go. Okay, brilliant. So with that all that done, all I'm going to do now is um, use kitchen colander to drain the water out of my peas. So I'll do that over there. With them joined, all I'll do now is uh, gently sprinkle them in here, keeping the spacing as even as I can. Not, uh, no need to space them out individually in a dice pattern like uh, most people recommend. Just uh, throw them in, but um, keep them evenly spaced. So let's get on with that. the last few to go. So with all I'm planting now, I'll just grab a couple that fell down in the middle. Right, there we go. So with them all in now, all I need to do now is just uh, Top them up to the top of the trays with some compost and uh, give them a light water in. Them. As I go along, I just make sure that all the peas are evenly spaced and they're not too close together. to be too neat we can come back along and sort all that out in a minute Bag of this compost. This is from last year. Water down nice over the year, been left outside. It's not quite as um, flaky as brand new stuff. Oh, 
Awesome. So now I'll just go along and even off the top of the trays. There's our peas planted guys, 15th of March in, all I'll do now is I'll quickly reach over here, grab our trusty hose pipe, just move this road fish from burn out the way, don't want to get that wet, and then we'll just give them a good water in there now, this compost is quite moist anyway so it doesn't need to be too heavy. Just enough so the peas don't dry out. Awesome, so there's our peas finally all done now. One last thing remains and that's just to Pop them inside the greenhouse over there, and uh, they should be up within a fortnight, hopefully. So, on to some more seed sowing. <laughs> 